Here's they're one microcosm. Uh, here's one microcosm example: the GMO milk, the GMO food, the plastics, and there's hundreds of types of plastics they pick for worldwide distribution. Over ninety percent of the plastic cups, the one type of plastic that sheds the uh, estrogen mimicking hormones. It's a documented fact. They chose it forty years ago for that reason. That's come out, and then three year old girls, four year old girls, by the tens of thousands. By the millions at seven, eight, nine, are going into puberty early. Then they get breast cancer early. You know, they get sick right. early, and then they know all that. And when they go to the doctor, they don't say quit drinking GMO milk. They don't say quit drinking out of plastic. They say, oh, we're going to give you hardcore, uh, complex uh, hormonal injections that then suppress that, but then also give you Cushing's disease and fry all your uh, uh, glands. And so, again, they engineer that. The local doctor's compartmentalized. He doesn't know. And they give the little girl something that's far worse. Meanwhile, our boys are, are, are in so much estrogen that now they've got 10, 12, 14, 15-year-old boys whose testicles haven't dropped. And I hate to get technical, but they're like ovaries. They're still inside the body. Uh, when normally, you know, testicles should drop when you're about 8 and 9, right before you go into puberty at 12. I mean, they are attacking us. The frogs, the fish off the water we drink are now becoming sterile in mass. I mean, we are on. This is scientific. We have the sperm countdown, 75% in the Western world, 85% in many areas. I mean, the, the proof's in the pudding. 